using graphs to find rates of change less than 3.2b. A rate of change is the ratio of the amount of change in the dependent variable, or output, to the amount of change in the independent variable, or input. We have our rate of change as a ratio. It's the amount of change in the dependent variable to the amount of change in the independent variable. That's output to input. We can use a graph to find a rate of change. This graph shows the distance a car traveled over time. We've got the hours and the miles driven. Our rate of change is going to be the change in the output, the orange, to the change in the input, the green. We can choose the first two ordered pairs. We have 120 and 60. We subtract and get a 60. We have a 2 and a 1. We subtract and get 1. Our rate of change is 60. If the relationship is proportional, there will be a constant rate of change, and we can use any two ordered pairs to find the rate of change. We have our line going through the origin at 0, 0. It's a straight line. We could have chosen the second one and this one with the 5 and 300 as the x and y values. It's got a constant rate of change. We could use any sets of ordered pairs. Sarah keeps a record of the number of bracelets she's made and the money she's earned. Use a graph to find the rate of change. So we used this table from the last video. We've got the number of bracelets, the amount she earned, and we have day one, two, three, and four. We plot the data as points on a coordinate plane. We learned in seventh grade math 4.3 those lessons about ordered pairs and plotting the points for a proportional relationship. We label the x and y values for each point. So remember, our rate of change is going to be the change in the output, the orange, to the change in the input, the green. Using the data from the table, we plot the points, we connect them with a line, and we have 1 for x and 20 for y. We have 5 for x and 100 for y. And we've got a couple other ordered pairs, don't we? We can use these two to find the rate of change. The first one is 1 for x and 20 for y, so that's going to be x sub 1 and y sub 1. That means that's the first x and that's the first y. Now we have a 5 for x and a 100 for y. That's going to be our second x and our second y. The little number on the lower right is called a subscript. It tells us which one is which. So if there's a little 1 here, we know that's the first x. If that's a little 2, we know it's the second x. Our rate of change is equal to the change in the money earned to the change in the number of bracelets made. So it's going to be the second y value, y sub 2, minus the first y value, y sub 1. It's going to be 100 minus 20. And it's going to be over the second x value as x sub 2, which is a 5, minus the x sub 1, the first x, which is a 1. We're going to get 80 to 4. And we simplify that and get a 20. We know the rate of change is 20. The x is our input. The y is our output. For the first x, we had a 1. And for the first y, we had a 20. For the second x, we had a 5. And for the second y, we had 100. We found the rate of change by the change in the output of the money earned of the orange ones, 100 minus 20. And the change in the input as the number of bracelets she made. So we're going to have 5 minus 1. And 100 minus 20 is 80. And 5 minus 1 is 4. We have 80 to 4, which simplifies to 20. So the rate of change is 20. We know Sarah earned $20 per bracelet. When a straight graphed line goes through the origin, 0, 0, the graph represents a proportional relationship. We have our ordered pairs. And if we put them into a table of values for x and y, we've got 0, 0, 2 for x, 1 for y, then 4 for x, 2 for y, 6 for x, 3 for y, 8 for x, 4 for y. They start at 0, 0. 
the origin. And as the x value increases by 2, the y value increases by 1. That's a proportional relationship. It's going through the origin, and we have a straight line. This graph shows the hours Bob worked and the tips he earned. This graph goes through the origin, but isn't a straight line. This is not a proportional relationship. It goes up, and then it kind of bends before it goes up again. That's not a straight line. The rates of change are not the same. They're not constant. When we do 20 minus 15 over 2 minus 1, we get a rate of change of 5. But then when we do 35 minus 20 over 3 minus 2, we get a rate of change of 15. The rates of change are not the same. It's not constant. This is not a proportional relationship. If it were, it would have been a straight line. For the relationship to be proportional, the graphed line must be a straight line going through the origin to show a constant rate of change. This one's not a straight line, so that's not a proportional relationship. This one is not going through the origin. It's up on the y-axis. So that's not going through the origin. That's not proportional. Okay, we finished with 3.2b. We're going to move on to c, calculating slope m. So back in 7th grade math, lesson 4.3, we learned about proportional relationships and graphs. And if you've forgotten those lessons or never learned them, there'll be links in the description so you can watch them quickly. You need to know how to do this because you'll have difficulty moving forward if you don't. Have a wonderful day and join me for the next lesson. Bye.